as a Nigerian with the intention of coming to the UAE or coming to Dubai to seek for a job or to do whatsoever, then this is the right place. Make sure you grab that popcorn and a cup of juice and enjoy this video because I came across this video on TikTok and I said I have to bring this to my beautiful people, to my lovely Africans, to my beautiful and lovely Nigerians. But before we dive into it, welcome your girl. Hi everyone, I go by the name Mata Gift, aka Mama Biki, and the one and only original Mrs. Maike. On this is our platform, we talk about Dubai, everything Dubai, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Obviously, guys, you all know Dubai is a beautiful place. UAE is a land of opportunity. It gives us all an opportunity to count ourselves amongst Africans in the diaspora. So for all those who are saying, oh my God, UAE is crazy. UAE is blah, blah, blah. Your girl is telling you, I am so blessed to count myself amongst Africans in the UAE. Privileged by the fact that I'm in the UAE. So... That is a good thing about it but guys a lot is happening uae has changed its laws and i think it's gonna favor us in the future yes in the nearest future ahead we are all going to enjoy the fact that all these things are happening dubai will be a better place uae will be a better place it is actually good but it will be much more better because a lot is happening things are changing they keep arresting all the Ajajas, the Ashawo, the mm, they keep arresting them. You know, so many Africans are into that business. Yes, they're into this business, and it's really damaging the image of African women of Africans. Guys, the video I told you guys I came across on TikTok will be at the end of this video. So make sure you stay with me and enjoy this and digest this with me now. UAE is trying to amend its laws to favor the country and to favor us, to protect us more, to keep us in a safe place, huh? Because we are in the right place, so we need to be safe. But you know, some of us have been damaging the reputation of our country. We give the bad impression of some of our African countries and it is really affecting us. So, the government is trying to amend some of its laws and they are trying to fit in some punishments that will really affect some of those bad people because you know in a bowl of granite there must be one or two not that all the bowl of granite is bad it's spoiled no just a few but because of the few the others will suffer you know when you take a handful of granite and you throw it into your mouth you start chewing by the time you meet that particular seed that is spoiled, that is bad, everything becomes bad. So that is what we are trying to run away from. That is what we are all trying to avoid. So now the government is appealing to us all to support them in eradicating some of these bad seeds amongst Africans. They are asking us to support them. But before I continue, watch this video and enjoy it get the information and enjoy it get the information and let it stick in stick into your head and share this video so it can get to so many more persons to be able to avoid some of the damages of the crisis if i may say because so many people are about to fall into temptation they are about to give their money to fake agents who will be giving them fake promises hmm? they'll give you fake information that's why i always advise that make sure you get your information from the right source and by the time you get that information you have to try and do some investigation ask one or two persons more check on google and make sure you get the right information before taking that bold step of maybe handing your money to who owes so ever or whatsoever agent no matter what he tells you because they get sweet mouth too much the sweet mouth too much you know go believe when they start telling you please don't come and attack me that i am talking about some of these girls most of them come here not knowing what they're coming to do with no idea let me say with maybe little or nothing at all 
they are not aware they just know i'm going to dubai i'm going to hustle but by the, the time they get here i told you guys in one of my videos if you go down there and check there is a video i made talking about this if you hear some of these ladies speak you weep because some of them come some of them come here without having an idea of what they are coming to do and by the time they get to the airport whosoever is speaking they will feed them and take them to their accommodation by the time they get to their accommodation they will seize their passport and ask them to pay 35,000 dirhams. So you have to do this business and pay 35,000 dirhams. How many people will you have something to do with? How many people will you do mm -mm -mm with to work 35,000 dirhams? So that is the challenge these ladies are facing. It's not like most of them love what they are doing. It's not like they enjoy what they are doing, but it's just the situation they find themselves in. So coming to the UAE as a young lady, make sure you know who is bringing you to the UAE and the reasons why that person is telling you i'm going to sponsor your trip to the uae maybe some of them even some of some of these big ladies who call themselves big ladies they even spend their money bring people or meet people here in the uae and they convince you of joining this business it's not like it's the best business in the world yeah it's profitable to them they are making money because you really invest little or nothing but you're making good money out of it so don't come and blame me here because i was talking about those people doing that business to them they think it's a lucrative business but i for one i don't support it so now that the uae is advising us to report these people if you see them if you find them they are advising us to report their location especially those big guns who have them under captivity yes they want the good seeds to report the bad seeds so they want us africans to report our fellow african brothers and sisters who are into illegal affairs they want us to report africans who are on overstay so if you know anyone who is on overstay you know you know because majority of africans who are into all these illegal things are africans who are on overstay they don't have a resident so a person who is on overstay is a person who doesn't have a resident who doesn't have a permit to be in that land so those are the majority of persons who usually go into these illegal stores so that is that now enjoy the video to all nigeria on overstay please listen to this Ah, well, um, we are here in uh, Dubai with the Dubai police. I was invited by the director to discuss international police cooperation between Nigeria and uh, Dubai. Uh, in fact, this meeting is apt, apt in the sense that um, uh, we discuss issues that relate to cultism, cyber crime, Overstay, gangs, human trafficking, and among others. And um, the Dubai police is willing not only share intelligence information with the Nigerian police, but rather assist the Nigerian police in training some of their personnel on how to do international police cooperation. And as we discuss, I have seen the various way in which they work and i've seen an opportunity this is an opportunity for nigerians to know that coming into this country there are specific instructions given to everyone when you fill in a form your visa application says you're going to stay for 30 days or 40 days and if your visa expired don't feel afraid I have commitment with the Dubai police. Come forward, ID yourself, identify yourself, show them that your visa has expired. They look at the process. If you are clean, fine and good, they can extend your stay, but stay in when you don't have nothing, and then you begin to go into all other forms of crime that will make not only Nigeria image bad, but also you are bringing problem to the people of Dubai. And um, I want to appeal to Nigerians, let us leverage on this opportunity to work closely with the Dubai police to ensure crime and criminality 
are reduced to the minimum. Not only reduced to the minimum, but are eradicated so that we can have a better society. And I've seen it. Dubai police willing to train, to equip, to give, to share intelligence information, drug trafficking, human trafficking, gang members, and other money laundering, and other forms of crime. This is the time when we say no to crime. And also, we have given some suggestions to the Dubai police when they are applying for a visa, such as for everyone coming here. He needs to be notarized by getting a lawyer so that we can trace and his ticket must be to and fro and he must state the hotel he's going to stay because that will make them track and trace the whereabouts of such individual. As I said earlier, feel free to come to the Dubai police. They are willing, they are friendly, share with them and also Nigerians that are doing good businesses here. Relate with the Dubai police, give them intelligence information about the bad characters, the criminals that are within, because the criminals are the ones that spoil the name of the country. Not only spoil the name of the country, but also spoil your business that you are doing. Because you, as a Nigerian doing a legitimate business in Dubai, if another Nigerian is involved, then definitely it has affected you in one way or the other. So our appeal is do the right thing, follow the instruction, and then you don't have problems. Thank you. Okay, guys, I believe you must have watched the video. You heard what he said. They are trying to fight against cybercrime, overstay, uh, cultism. So you all heard it with your own ears. I'm not the one saying it. Usually they emphasize on Nigeria because, as a matter of fact, from statistics has shown that it's a majority of Nigerians who are usually into this business, into some of these affairs, into some of these crimes. So, they are advising all other fellow Africans, the good seeds, to try their best and report the bad seed. We should turn them in. Somehow, it's a good and it's a bad option. It's bad in the sense that we will be... We will be reporting our fellow brothers and sisters because whether we like it or not, Africa is one. So an African will be reporting an African. That's just what it is. What can we do? We have just one option left. It's either we all change and become good seeds. We change our ways and become good seeds. Then we will all be a happy person, happy people, and they will see us differently. Things will change. The narratives will change. But if we don't change, because it is very difficult to change, it will be an individual decision. We will all decide individually whether we want to change or not. Nobody can force anybody to change. So we all have to have that mindset of, okay, I've been, we have been doing this too much. Let's change our ways. So my fellow African brothers and sisters, if you have anything to say, you can tell me in the comment section, what do you think? Is our lifestyle the best? What we do as Africans? Should an African be the one reporting a fellow African? Because if we don't report them, then they'll keep blocking Nigerian visa. They'll keep blocking Ugandan visa. Very soon, maybe they'll start blocking Cameroon visa or uh, uh, Ghanaian visa, Zambian visa. We don't know. We all are into this deep mess so that is that i love you all so much trust me guys you'll be doing me a great favor and you'll be doing someone out there a great favor by sharing this video because by sharing this video you'll be helping that fellow brother or sister who has plans of coming to the uae and hasn't come across this video and haven't haven't seen this and that agent has been encouraging him has been encouraging her asking her to pay that money the mom is somewhere searching. She's looking for a friend to loan her this money to go to a bank, to give her properties for collateral, to take this money and pay into this agent to help the child go out to 
the UAE to seek for a better future, to find his or her way, but we all don't know. Things are not moving. A lot is on hold. Visas are on hold. Ugandans are in it. Nigerians are in it. Other African countries are safe, but we don't know how long we all will be safe. So help me share this video so we get to the ends of the world and help someone out there. I love you all so much. See you guys when next I upload another video. For that lo lovely look, guys, hit your girl up. Hit Bosemi Fashion for a discount. For your beautiful footwear and handbags, make sure you hit us up and follow us on Facebook at Bosemi Fashion. Give us a like and share our page so we get many more customers and we grow together. And again, guys, when it comes to Yach, hit your girl up. We are available for a discount. If you want a discount to Njoka to enjoy your life, hit us up. And we are going to give you just what you want for that birthday. Don't forget. Hit us up.